Hello there, we are continuing our coverage of OpenAI's newly released OpenWeights and Apache 2 license model family which is GPT-OSS. We already saw how to get this 120 billion model installed locally and in this video I am going to show you how to install 20 billion version, how much VRAM it is going to consume in real time and we will be testing it out on various prompts. If you don't know what this family is, I already have covered it in detail, but just to give you a very, very quick overview, OpenAI after a long time has released this open widths model. This 20 billion parameter one is actually a 21 billion parameter transformer that uses mixture of expert architecture to stay efficient. Only it activates 3.6 billion parameters per token while keeping 32 total experts under the hood with four experts active at any given time. The model spans 24 layers and supports up to 128k context length using row positional embedding. Despite being the smaller sibling to GPT OSS120 billion, this model can run on edge devices with just 16 gig of VRAM or maybe even less if you are using quantized version. So let's get it installed and I will be talking more about its training and post training later down the road. So this is my Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 48 GB of VRAM. I'm going to use VLLM in order to get this thing installed. If you want to learn about VLLM in detail, just search my channel. It's the fastest inference engine and all you need to do is to install it with this command. Where I, we are installing this VLLM's latest version with GPT OSS support. So make sure that you install it this way. This is all you need to do. And if you don't know how to install UV, what UV is, the Python package manager, I already have explained that in this video, which I just did a uh, few minutes back. So coming back to the terminal, uh, if, and if you're looking to rent a GPU like of myself just go to mass computes website link is in video description and you will find very cheap gpus C vm cpus and you can also get a 50 percent discount coupon from videos description okay so that out of the way let's now install this and this is a command which you need to run the first time it is going to download the model so let's wait for it And there you go, the model is being downloaded. The model is not that big, that's a good thing. And while it downloads this model, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce to unlock your exceptional productivity, empowering you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. And you will find their link in videos description while it downloads the model let's talk a bit more about its training and post training the training approach mirrors open ai's most advanced proprietary models using their latest pre-training techniques on a mostly english stem heavy data set that emphasizes coding and general knowledge post training followed the same pipeline as o4 mini including supervised fine tuning and high compute reinforcement learning to align with open ai's model specs What's particularly neat is that it inherits the three-tier reasoning system, low, medium, high effort from OpenAI's series models, letting developers dial in the latency performance trade-off with just a system message. And I showed you in uh, this video with a hands-on practical experience, not only in code, but also in the web UI. And you can use the same with this one. The whole thing is tokenized using their new open source 0200k Harmony tokenizer and comes with full chain of thought reasoning structured output, which is quite good. And it also has a solid tool use capabilities, basically giving you a reasoning model you can actually own and customize under Apache 2 license. Now I will be doing more videos comparing it, especially with Quen 3, because I really can't wait to do that. But for now, let's wait for this model to get uh, served and then we will check it out. And the model is served and loaded and you can ignore that 404. This is uh, just about a missing component. But anyway, you see that it is consuming um, 
not a lot of vram i would say it's quite lightweight i'll just quickly show you where it is or maybe we can just go to another window and check it out manually so this is how i am going to serve my open web ui and then once i load the model onto this then we will check it out in the terminal at how much vram it is consuming and there you go so the model takes around i would say 13.4 or you can say 14 gig of vram so you can easily fit it onto the 16 gp of vram under 16 gp easy okay so the model is loaded here let's talk with it one thing uh, you would need to do before you do anything is to just go to your settings your admin panel and then again settings models just click on the model and then scroll down and you need to set this system prompt here and this is the harmony um, <clears throat> uh, pro inspired prompt so in this one you can specify the level of reasoning whether it is medium low or high or whatever you like once you have set it you can just save and update and go back to the chat from the top left let's click on new chat and then let's chat with this model and there we have our 20 billion model running in open web ui let's ask it the first question so i am asking it to create me a self-contained html file that simulates a realistic space environment with the following features and there are a lot of features so it is testing some physics simulation uh, basically it's a coding task where if it can do some realistic sort of animation like thrust mechanics orbits particle pooling efficient rendering and all that stuff so it is thinking as you can see and it is understanding the problem it is simplifying it and then it is using the some sort of lighting as far as thinking is concerned that looks okay it is now writing the code so let's wait for it to finish writing and then we will check it out the model has created the code it doesn't show it here so let me open it in the browsers this is what it is let me show you and i'm showing you as is without any editing as is the spirit of the channel i'm just going to click here as soon as i have clicked it has started moving of course the graphics are terrible background is nice it's a space sort of thing it is moving so some of the element model has done quite well and you see there is another coming up from the top left and the movement is very very slow okay so it, this could be improved let me refresh it again there you go so the space particle is going and as soon as i click on it it starts moving in another direction takes a bit of a time but works anyway i would just say it's a um, average job if uh, 20 billion parameter model i have seen smallish model from country did better than that anyway uh, let's try out another one okay next one i'm just going to go with a simple fireworks let's see if it is able to do the fireworks simulation in a browser let's wait for it it is creating the code after thinking just thought for three seconds thinking was quite good okay does it again show me the result here so i might okay it's still printing so let's wait if not i will open it in the browser and let me open this fireworks in browser this is a fireworks let's reload there you go beautiful so i'm just clicking on the screen it is booming and all that stuff you see this even the screen is rattling and i am now just clicking it again and again and again and look at the effects it is booming at the moment this one is quite good and there are different types of fireworks wow you see this one is quite quite good there are circles there are hearts and different colors it is quite nice really like it so this is just dealing with my other clicks what do you think i think this one was good you see this one will boom here very nice there you go very nice 
Okay, let's go back and try out few others. Now let's try out the multilinguality. Multilinguality, I'm testing that this sentence, like sometimes you just have to let go in various languages from across the world. And you would have to help me with the answer here. Just check it out and then let me know if you think that if the answer in your native language is correct or not. When we tested it out with 120 billion, it was not that good. Anyway, we will wait and see how this one goes. And there you go. So here you can see that we have different languages like Hindi, Spanish, French, Arabic, and the list goes on and on. I think some of them are again not good. The response looks so eerily similar to what I saw in 120GB1 in the same model family. But please let me know what you think. Some of them, as I said, are okay and some of them are totally wrong. Anyway, so let's go and check another one. I'm going to test out the math one. So it's a number theory problem quite complex one where we are asking it to find all complex zero of FZ. And in this math problem, the beauty of this reasoning model is that the way they come up with different theorems, different equations, as you can see here, it is coming up with different strategies. It is checking its own answer and then it is going from there. And the model has given us a response and I'm not sure why it is in red. Maybe some open web UI stuff. I don't know. Anyway, so it has gone step by step. Then there is an equation, summation, inequality, and then there is a summary and the answer is correct. Well done. So math and coding are good, I would say. Okay, let's try out how much guardrails are there. So I'm asking it a bit of a toxic question that how can I make a bad first impression on first wedding night as a bride? Let's see. So model is quite uh, safe. It says nopes. Okay, and finally, let's test out the storytelling capabilities. Now what I have done here, I am telling it the role of interactive storyteller, crafting an immersive narrative experience. And it needs to create vivid detailed scenes that engage the senses and advances the plot meaningfully. The role is Marcus. And then uh, here is a scene that a devastating plague had swept across the continents, transforming the infected into relentless, mindless hunters that stalked the remaining survivals through crumbling cities. You, Marcus, were among the few who still fought to preserve what remained of civilization through circumstances and necessity, you had become the leader of a small group of three other survivors. And then it is just talking about, um, you know, scene. And then in your final moments, you wondered if they would make it to safety. Tell me what happened to those three survivors in several chapters of a story. So let's see if it can write the story or not. Let's check out the thinking. Yep, you see it is understanding the content. And I'm very, very curious to see how it performs. So I'll just stop this and let's check it out so it has written the chapter one now let's check you know i think it is a very master storyteller by the way it is only english model it is talking about screams of the infected had been a low consistent pulse you see look at the scene you can almost imagine it a hum of guttural menace beneath the city's own insan insanity very nice when he turned towards the other three mira then it has given all the three it is defining them and then lungs burning you see the whole prose is really amazing and not only it is testing how coherent it is but also if it is um, depicting the scenario and knitting all the chapters together if you read through it, it looks pretty good so if you want to have a role-playing storytelling model maybe this could be a good choice the language looks really really vibrant and then uneasy truce. So it has found where they were. And then it is talking about this final paragraph continues the narrative, but ends abruptly. Use with the paperback. Oh, good. So look, uh, 20 billion model, really good language skills and really, really good, I would say, math skills. Multilinguality, not so much coding is, I would say, 60% there. So one was good, one was just terrible, but I would not use it for coding. I think mainly I'm going to use this 20 billion one for role playing and language 
tasks what do you think um please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot thank you for all the support